This total body joint mobilization will be a little bit more specific towards your spine. If you're dealing with any issues with your shoulders, your neck, uh, headaches, low back pain, uh, hip discomfort, this probably will be really effective for you. Uh, even if you're somebody who has difficulty turning their head, this is probably something that will help you. What we're gonna do here is explore type one and type two spine positions and then use our head and our pelvis as authentic drivers. All that really means is that we're gonna find ourselves into these different positions and move other parts of our body to free up range of motion. I would highly recommend before you watch this video that you go back and watch the video on drivers and also watch the video on type one and type two spine positions so that you understand those. But once you have an understanding of those, what you wanna do is get yourself into a hallway right up against the wall. This is really simple to do. You're gonna take one arm and place it overhead, okay? Me placing this arm overhead side bends my body to the right. Now I have two options. I can reach forward, which will twist my body to the left, or I can reach back, which will twist my body to the right. Once I'm in one of these positions, what I wanna do is I wanna use my head and my pelvis as a driver to enhance range of motion. So in the sagittal plane, I would drive my hips forward to back. I can drive my hips side to side. And I can drive my hips through a rotation. With my head, I can also drive forward to back. Side to side. and through rotation. Now obviously the side to side and rotational motion with your head is limited by your arm position, but you just do the best that you can. That was a type one spine position because I side bent one way, rotated the opposite. The next key is to go into behind your body. And so now this is our type two spine position because we're side bending and rotating in the same direction. Use the same strategy, drive your hips forward to back, hips side to side, and hips through rotation. And then repeat that with my head. Okay, so again, about 10 repetitions in each plane. I will tape a follow-up video to this so that you understand some of the other considerations to get the most uh, effective result from this uh, joint mobilization effort.